Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Today's lesson is inequalities changing the sign. When do you actually change the symbol or the sign? Now let's look at my first start here. I have negative 2 is less than positive 6. Now think about it. Is that true? Yes, negative 2 is a lesser number, smaller number than positive 6. So right now it's true. Now what I want to do with you is just sort of explore some ideas here about when you change the symbol and when you don't. All right, let's go ahead and add uh, the same number to each side. Okay, now when that's true, let's is it possible to, to add um, numbers on both sides and still get the same um, true statement? So negative 2 plus 3 is a positive 1 less than, let's just drop this down, see what happens, 6 plus 3 is 9. Now is that still true? 1 is less than 9? Yes. So the inequality property is true. All right, let's subtract um, a number. Let's say we'll subtract 4 from each side, see if the uh, relationship still holds. All right, negative 2, take away 4. Yep, that's negative 6. Be careful with your integers there. Let's drop this down and see if it is still less than. 6, take away 4 is 2. Is negative 6 less than 2? Yeah, that's still true. So it looks like you keep the same symbol when you add or subtract. doesn't really matter whether you're adding or subtracting a positive or a negative. Now let's try multiplication. Let's try to multiply both of these by, say, positive 3. All right, now let's see what happens. What is negative 2 times positive 3? Yep, negative 6. What is 6 times 3? Well, positive 18. Do we still have a less than relationship? Yes, we do. That's still true. So it looks like we don't change the symbol when we multiply by a positive number. Let's multiply by a negative number. Let's say we're going to multiply by a uh, negative 4. Okay? And we have to do that on both sides. All right, let's check out. What do we got? Negative 2 times negative 4 is a positive 8, like signs multiplied there. Positive 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Ah, now it looks like something's happened here. Looks like we now have to flip the sign around and to make it true we actually have to flip the sign. But why? Well, it looks like we multiply by a negative number. Hmm. Is that the only time that happens? Let's check it out. Let's divide each side here by a positive 2. Alright? Now, what are our results? What's negative 2 divided by positive 2? Negative 1. What is 6 divided by 2? Well, those are both, both positive. That's 3. Do we still have a less than relationship? Hmm, something's happening here. One more example. Let's say we divide by a negative 2. Okay, can you guess what's going to happen? If we take negative 2 divided by negative 2, that would be a positive 1. And if we take positive 6 divided by negative 2, that would be a negative 3. Now, 1 is not less than negative 3. In fact, we do have to flip the sign. All right? So, look at the only two cases where we had to change the inequality symbol. So, here's the rule we just proved. You change the inequality symbol, or flip the sign, when you are multiplying or dividing by a negative, okay? It has to be multiplication or division and by a negative. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. All right, I have four examples here to test this rule out. Now, what we're going to do is think of these inequality um, equations as um, equations first. We're going to pretend that this greater than or equal to sign is not there, okay? We'll pretend that's an equal sign. So, we normally would just do the opposite. We're going to add 3 to each side. And remember the rule, now you're going to um, flip the sign only when you're multiplying or divided, uh, dividing by a negative. Well, here we're adding a positive 3, so that rule does not apply. So we're going to keep the same symbol, make sure it's turned the right way, greater than or equal to, and 5 plus 3 is 8. Okay, whatever numbers we put into x that are equal to 8 or bigger would still make that true. Don't change the sign. 
All right, here we're dividing by a positive 2, so we would multiply both sides by a 2. And remember the rule, it has to be a negative number that we're multiplying or dividing. Well, we're multiplying, but it's a positive 2, so you check the sign there. Those 2's cancel out, so x is, keep the same symbol, greater than or equal to, and then that would be a negative 6. So all numbers larger than or equal to negative 6 headed towards 0 and into the positives would work. All right, what about this one? We're going to divide by not only the 5, but the negative 2. And because we're dividing by a negative, in order to solve this, yes, this time we do flip the symbol around. So instead of less than, it's greater than, and this would give us a positive 3. So all numbers larger than 3, not including 3, would make that true. Now even these two-step equations, inequalities, the same rule applies. Notice how we have to add 8 first, and that's not multiplying or dividing, so keep the same symbol. In fact, I would just kind of leave that symbol up there until the final step, and then check to see which way it should go. Well, right now we have negative 2j over here, and we have a negative 6 over here. All right? So, now we're going to divide each side by a negative 2 in order to get the j by itself. And don't forget the negative sign there. And again, the rule is multiplying and divided by a negative. That is what we're doing. So now we are going to look up here. It's greater than. we got to flip it around to make it less than. That would give us a positive 3. So all numbers less than 3 and below, not including 3. All right, so I hope this rule helps, and thanks for watching. Give me a call or go to my website if you want your first free math lesson. Math Class with Terry V. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.